Hi, my name is Sheetal Patil. I'm the global product manager at Vistion for infotainment. This is our Android-based infotainment system based on Android O. What you see here is two screens. For reference, this is your front screen and this is for the rear seats passenger. Uh, we have limited gas features, Google Automotive Services, Google Assistant and navigation. I will walk you through some of our add-ons on the Android O stack. What I'm doing is playing two different videos from the same USB stick. Our value add is multi-touch on multi-display and flinching abilities. You see is the same video playing on two displays and the flinging works the other way around as well. Our second big add-on is navigation. You don't want to disturb the driver while he's driving, so if you have to set a new destination, it can be done from a different screen. Pick up an address, start navigation, and you have it on your front screen. The third add-on you have is wireless CarPlay. CarPlay does not come standard, on the Android stack. We have implemented CarPlay, wireless CarPlay on our demo property. On the Android O stack, we have the vehicle layer network. We're just demonstrating what you could do with this. So say for example, you have a drive mode and you have a park mode. You're playing video. When you go to the drive mode, the video on the main screen will stop. Another example of a climate app of how you can take sensor data and control temperatures. We also have podcast, iHeartRadio, NPR Radio implemented as part of apps. For the gas model to work, the system requirements for gas, uh, Google Automotive Services, to run our 4 GB RAM, 32 GB storage. We as a tier one can offer equivalent of gas, the app store, photo capabilities, navigation, maps, voice assistant, and that would be our proposition for OEMs who'd want to go with the Android platform but not use gas services.